Russians are in panic in Melitopol. New units of the occupation army, including Kadyrovites, are arriving in the temporarily occupied Melitopol. Mayor of Melitopol, Ivan Fedorov, said this on the air of the national telethon, United News. New units of the occupation army are entering the city. On April the 26th, new units of Kadyrovites arrived at the Melitopol Hotel, which is in the very center of the city, and were checking in. There is also a constant movement of equipment going to the Zaporizhia front line, Fedorov said. According to him, Russians are in panic but continue to prepare defensive structures and minefields in the towns of Enerodar, Kamionets, Niprovsky, Tokmak, Molochansk, Vasilivka. Filtration measures have also been intensified. Since April the 26th, they have stopped letting people who do not have a residence permit in these settlements into some villages. Filtration has been intensified throughout the occupied part of Zaporizhia region. It intensified about 2.5 to 3 weeks ago, the mayor said. In addition, Russians have intensified propaganda among children. Recently, another organization called Volunteers of Victory has appeared, which is engaged in brainwashing children. Ivan Fedorov said that a traitor policeman, Alexander Mishchenko, was blown up by Ukrainian partisan underground in Melitopol. 42-year-old Alexander Mishchenko, who was the deputy head of an occupational police department and was guarding the occupation administrator of the city of Galina, Danilchenko. The policeman lived in the fifth entrance of house number 67 on Heroiv, Ukraini street, where his car exploded. During the explosion, the second collaborator, police officer Yuri, was also injured as per Russian telegram channel.